Greetings everybody, this is Electric Michigan, and today this is kind of a discussion of the current state of the electric motorcycle market for kind of low priced or entry level, or however you want to think about it, uh, electric motorcycles. So on my right here is the 2021 CSE City Slicker, and it gets retail delivered to your door for about 2800 bucks. And on my left is the 2020 Zero DS, Zero Dual Sport, and it retails somewhere around 10 grand before accessories or extra features on top of it. And uh, unfortunately, there's really nothing in between the two of those right now that's actually a street legal motorcycle. So we're recording this in July 20, 2021, and in a few months, there's supposed to be the Saunders Meta Cycle that's supposed to hit that niche in between the two of five or $6,000 with enough range that people will uh, be interested in it. So this is kind of, you get what you pay for. I love it for its price point. It's made, assembled in China, has a very small battery. This is a real purchase, a much higher price point. You get what you pay for, and it's assembled in the United States, which I, of course, appreciate and support. Um, and the difference between the two is a lot, right? So this has, on the City Slicker, an all of maybe a five horsepower motor. It has a battery that they might advertise as two kilowatt hours, but it's probably really not. Um, you might get out of this 20-ish miles of range going fast, 35 miles of range going slower. Um, the Zero DS, they advertise as having a seven kilowatt hour battery, but that's kind of a myth. It's really more like a six kilowatt hour battery. Um, this goes, it's a rocket, it's accelerating. Tons of torque, I think it has a 46 horsepower motor rating. Um, it flies, you might do 100 miles of range if you're going 30, 35 miles per hour. Um, if you're going faster, you know, 70 miles an hour, you probably have 40 miles of range. Um, City Slicker charges very slow. We're talking a few hundred watts of charging power. It has an external off-board charger that's like an old Xbox brick. Um, and that's to keep costs down, right? Uh, the Zero DS, you can charge it, like I mentioned in the other video, a couple of different ways, but the normal way most people are gonna charge their Zero DS is just plugging it into a household outlet, and it'll charge at over a kilowatt. It might charge as high as 1.4 kilowatts, which is great, it charges up very quickly. Um, the uh, ability to add a charge tank to it so it charges faster is, of course, very nice. Um, both of them have the option to have storage where a gas tank might normally be on an internal combustion motorcycle, which is awesome. Uh, the Zero DS has an extra storage compartment behind the battery. Um, the City Slicker has the benefit that you can actually remove the battery, which is nice, um, particularly if you're someplace that you might not have uh, the capability to charge it at your house or on the street. You can yank the battery out, take it inside and charge it, but also in the winter time, so I rode this throughout most of the winter uh, between 2020 and 2021, um, and I loved it. It performed great. It definitely had performance and charging differences, you know, using it in cold temps, but um, I could pull the battery out, bring it indoors, let it warm up, charge it overnight, put it back in in the morning, and, you know, it last all day with that just kind of thermal momentum that it had in it from charging inside. Uh, the Zero DS, does not have a removable battery. Some Zero models do. So the FX and the FXS do have options to have smaller 3.2 kilowatt hour battery modules that you can yank out of them, which is pretty awesome for the same reasons I just mentioned, particularly in the winter time, or you know, you can take it out of the bike and charge it indoors. The Zero DS, it's permanently installed. You probably you know have some sort of warranty issues if you did try to yank it out. And like I was mentioning, this has a top speed of maybe 50 miles an hour. This, the yeah, top speed, you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, it might go 100 miles an hour. But most people, what they really want in a motorcycle, at least my friends, is they want it to cost five, $6,000 at most. They want it to have 40 or 50 miles of real world range. And they don't really care about the charging speed so much. And that's where the Saunders Metacycle is aiming to hit that niche in price point. And I wish that there was something in between these two motorcycles right now. 
but as far as like actual street legal motorcycles, this is kind of it. So these are VINs, they're insurable, they're real, real motorcycles as far as your state and law enforcement are concerned. Um, there are other things that are kind of hybridized mopeds that are so powerful and fast that they probably are not street legal as motorcycles like the Onyx RCR. Um, I'm not even sure if those have VINs on them or if you can get insurance on them and things like that. But I wanted to highlight these two right here. Um, I'm not going to have the City Slicker for much longer. Um, I'm planning on keeping the DS for a long time. I really like it. Um, if you guys have questions, uh, want to see anything between these two, two bikes, let me know. Um, I'm happy with both of them. The price point, again, is tough to swallow on the DS, right? There's no doubt about that. If you're paying 10 grand for a bike, um, you're going to probably look pretty hard at you know, something that is got the range that this has. And then if you want to have even faster charging, you're going to be paying more for it. The DS does have the capability, instead of having this fast charge capability, that you can put in another battery module up here, which is nice. But at that point, you might as well just go up to the DSR, which basically has twice the size of the 7.2 battery. It has a 14.4 battery and a ton of range. So that's kind of the compare and contrast between the two. Um, I like both of them, maybe for different reasons. And again, this one is just darn near silent riding around town. It's really fun to ride in that regard. I mean, especially when you come back from this one and just the sound of the regenerative brakes and the motor running. And again, I, I mentioned, I wish Zero would offer a quiet mode um, that kind of nerfed the power and turned off the regenerative brakes. So that's all I have for this video right now. I just wanted to share that with these two. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.